Hello everyone, Halby Gaming here. This review is about the Rhino Tank. So, if you don't know where it is, I'm sure you do, but just in case, if you don't know where it is, it's, it's on Travel and Transport and Warstock. And the quickest way to find it, if you click on the sold by price once, then scroll down, it'd be near the middle, or roughly that place anyway. So if you scroll down, it should be right there, $1.5 million. So that's the price for the Rhino Tank. And it is a Pegasus vehicle. If you buy it, it's Pegasus. So, if you do, obviously, if you don't know where it is as well, call Pegasus. It's on the contacts on your phone. Call them. Um, it will be on the military section, which you'll see very soon. As you can see, military Rhino tank. There you go. The fee might be two hundred dollars or something like that, but for me, it's free every time. So, I'm not sure how to get the fee price of free. As you can see here, um, I'm shooting the RPG shots of the Rhino tank. So I've done two hits so far. Three hits, four hits, so it can only f handle four R RPG hits. So I thought I'd try out the presser if people ask. So it takes about three hits, so not great whatsoever. <laughs> um, if you see a, you know, a presser nearby, you're screwed. And it, you can only shoot out the tank cannon. As you can see, there's like a mountain gun, but you cannot use it. It's only there for like decoration or whatever. So it's kind of a waste, really, to be honest. Um, yep, you can shoot a private. It's not like you have to look straight. You can look up and down of it and shoot. Um, it's very powerful. I shot that um, van there. It's like pretty highly ex explosive proof, a little bit at least. And it's shot in one shot, so at least a direct hit. So yeah, it's really powerful. As you can see here, you can shoot pretty far up. Um, so that has really good range. Make sure you're pretty accurate though. But as you can see here, that, this was pretty fast. How to zoom in. But yeah, it was really far away that shot, so it has really good range, really good range. Um, when I went over some cars as well, if you crush some cars, it'll actually damage the uh, tank. So try and avoid that as well. It's not great with bullets, so as you can see there, it was please shoot me down right near the end. It just blew me up. So make sure you don't get shot either, it's very delicate. Right, so that's that. So that's the little bits anyway of, of what it can handle and everything. So I like to give my pros and cons to my reviews on GTA 5. So if there's anything I missed or, you know, if you disagree on, let me know in the comments below. It would actually be helpful. Um, yeah, but this is obviously my opinions. So, you know, it's my opinions. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to start with the pros. So the pros is high damage explosives. At least you can see anyway, at least if you hit direct hits with it it's just so powerful it can destroy even like it's ex almost explosive proof vehicles it, it it's so deadly it's so deadly so be careful if you get try and get try not to get direct hit and you might have a chance to but you might have a chance to get away so yeah um good explosive range um i think anyway you know shooting from afar though as i mean an explosive radius it's pretty op from that little clip when i was shooting a helicopter it went pretty far pretty far. I could go probably a tiny little bit further than that but either way that gets you the hint how far it can go. And the explosive radius is pretty strong really basically how strong the explosive is really so the blast radius is pretty good. Um, and the third one is Pegasus vehicle. Why well, I say it's Pegasus because um, it's just cheaper. If it explodes at least you don't have to pay like a couple thousand dollars or whatever if you like personally owned it. You know if it's destroyed it doesn't matter and you can call another one instantly. You'd have to wait like a minute or two either. So it's really cheap, I guess, if you keep exploding one and everything like that. So it's, um, yeah, I think that's a win to me. Uh, so that's it. So that's the pros. I'm going to say one more time now. If there's anything I missed or you disagree on, let me know in the comments below. It would be appreciated. Right, now, so the cons. So the cons is four RPG hits. Not really great. You would have thought by, you know, in year 2021... You would think, doing maybe you know maybe buff it, but that is not the case, whatsoever. Not the case. It's still the same after many years later. It's still for RPG hits. So try and avoid getting shot at all. To be honest, at all. Uh, second one, not bulletproof. Um, it can handle bullets better than better than explosives for some reason, but it's just how it is. It's still they're trying to avoid it most as you can though. It's just so delicate. Just, yeah. 
try not to get shot whatsoever, whatever from it is. And then the last one can do self damage if you run over to cars. So if you crush some cars basically and it explodes, you're going to do damage to your tank itself. It can handle better like that way because you're crushing it. So it can handle it like explosive wise, but still it will do some damage and try and avoid that as well. So it is literally so delicate of a vehicle. So try and avoid anything like contact to the, uh, the tank pretty much really. Try and avoid it most as you can. Um, yeah. And that's it. So that's my uh, pros and cons. So I'd like to give my final question. Is the Rhino tank worth it in 2021? No. Why I say no? Um, there's a futuristic tank lookalike one. I can't remember what it's called right now. I'll, if I remember what it is right now, um, I'll put a picture on the screen now. So I can show you what on specifically it's called. Um, I forgot what it was right now. <laughs> but yeah, there's a tank that's just basically like a futuristic, more powerful. It just, yeah. You might as well go for that one, whatever it's called. Go for that one instead. But yeah. The Rhino tank, um, it aged and you know it didn't age well to be honest it didn't make it any better it just is how it is it's a tank at the end of the day really it's, it's a tank it's like an old tank you know to this to this game anyway <laughs> not as powerful as it looks so yeah so that, I just don't recommend it 1.5 million I mean it's not much but it's, it's your choice but I'm gonna go with no it's just maybe it's like for a million and less than maybe but yeah I don't know, it's just not worth it, even for a million to be honest, it's just not powerful. If you're especially playing it in the public lobby, it's just no good. You, you, you're going to get blown up so easily. But that's my review anyway, so if this view helped, uh, make sure to give this video a like. If you're new here, maybe subscribe, it's up to you. If not, check out the playlist, tutorials or reviews. Scroll through, you never know, there might be something there. Have a scroll through. Um, if not though, thank you for watching this video everyone.